One night, 40 years ago, my granddad came up here with my dad for the first and only time to hunt here. This was a trip that they would never forget. My granddad was just finishing on putting up the tent while my dad was in those woods getting some firewood. A blood-curdling scream echoed throughout the mountains. My granddad picked up his 30-30 rifle and ran toward the scream. He found my dad lying under an evergreen. Moving toward him was a large, dark figure. At first, my granddad thought it was a bear, but it was too tall and it stood upright. He fired at the beast as he ran toward his son. The closer he got, the more he realized it wasn't any animal he had ever seen. It looked half ape and half man, and it stood ten feet tall. Granddad made the story up and you know it. He and Dad told me years later that it was true. Granddad swears UFOs hover over his house. Come on, what happened? Well, he frantically pulled up my dad and pointed his rifle toward the beast, but it was gone. My granddad said that he had once heard a legend that there was a native tribe that had control over this prehistoric creature and that they used it to protect their sacred mountain from outsiders. Most of the time, it only scared people away if they got too close. But those who ventured into the mountain never returned. <laughs> That's not funny. Are you afraid of the mountain devil? Shut up, there's no such thing. What was that? Where are you going? We need to grow up. Holly? We're all here. Mmm. <sighs> 